from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. Hi, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here at my bar, of course, at Tommy Max, where everyone gets a chance to sit at my bar and tell their story. I always, always love having a great group of people on this show, brought to our good friends at Dasher and Hot Spring Spas of Jacksonville. It's the B. Teal segment with Brian Sexton. Let's say hello to Brian. Hey, Brian. How are you, man? I'm being Teal. Man, you are being Teal, and you're fitting right into the uh, the family here at Let's CFM. I have no problem talking, as you know, yep. when they start telling you to wrap it up. I'm still going. That's right. Stopping is the problem. No doubt. I have the same problem from time it's the to Irish time. Idea. We got a big Jag fan here. Nick Krupe awesome. is here from Triad Financial Services, a credit analyst. How about yes. that? How long have you been doing that for, Nick? Uh, almost two years. It'll be two years in July. Okay. Did you go to school for uh, finance or how did you get into it? Went to UNF for finance. Okay, cool. And uh, it was just something that I was always passionate about. Very good with numbers. Yep. My dad worked in the mortgage industry, so it was something that I really got into. Yep. And we pretty much just provide affordable the lending to people in the manufactured home industry. Yeah. For over 65 years. Wow, nice yeah. niche, man. He nice sits niche. in the Jaguar Stadium, and he figures out the analytics of whether to go for it on third and fourth down, That's where right. they are on the field in his That's own That's right, brain. yeah. That's when it comes to Doug, I mean, he's going to go for it pretty much every time. <laughs> every time. Yeah, you grew up a Jags fan, huh? Yep, grew up all a right. Jags fan, born and raised. Yep. I was like, got the tattoo and all to prove it. I, I was heard. Like, I've been here through the good and bad, so all right. love it. Good, great to have you on the show, Thank man. You. appreciate it. Brandon Medley is back from Capricorn Sur- Systems. How are you, Brandon? Good, good. Good to see you guys. Last time you were here, since last time you guys merged, with another company. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Smart IMS acquired us. Okay. A couple other companies, but uh, acquired us, and it's been a really good uh, acquisition. So definitely excited with all the new things that they yeah. bring to the Are we talking like IT staffing? IT staffing, okay. um, you know, cloud migrations. Yeah. Our insurance is our, our, our niche now with Guidewire. So okay. lots of neat stuff. It seems like that cloud, I mean, that seems a lot yeah. is going on with that. And uh, security. Uh, Cyber security. Yeah. We have a silo for that as well. Okay. And what's your role with the company? So uh, I, I go on TV. No, I'm just joking. I like I, it. I skirted right through the media uh, on uh, my program, but um, no uh, sales. So uh, client facing, um, I get in front of the clients and, okay. and take them golfing and nice, good schmoozing. Yeah. You're the relationship manager. Yeah, that's that's the best job right. in the world. Yeah, all I got to do is make friends. Yeah. How hard can exactly. that be? Right. It's safe to say that most people it. need what you're selling. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Jobs. I mean, yeah. yeah. In this Absolutely. day and age, with cybersecurity being as important as it is, yeah. it seems like a your business probably doesn't stay the same for very long, and b everybody needs to talk to you. That's right. Yeah. So, so you're on the recruiting side or the sales side or both? So, um, well, I, I actually wear multiple hats. So okay. I do help out the recruiters, yep. uh, but mostly I'm client-facing. Uh, right. I get to have some fun. Good, good. Great yeah. to have Smart you. Smart guys recruit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Very good. Coach Kaler is back. Hey, Eric. How you doing, Tom? How are you, man, for Coach 35? What's happening? Hanging in there, man. Yeah. Hanging in there. You're in transition, I hear. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What do you uh, What do you do to, to, to find the next gig? Co- listen, coaching – is a grind. Everybody, even Coach Campbell, that it, you, you've heard him, he, where he started, I mean, the first whatever years, it's like here, over here, moving here, but then, of course, you hit that, yeah, that I love nice that run. Conversation with him. Yeah, you, you, sure. you'll, you should be, I can hook that up for you, for sure. Uh, a lot of it is, uh, you know, one, uh, making sure the resume's out, yep. you know, looking at the job postings, looking at the football scoop, uh, going to the convention yep. uh, back in January, doing networking in that way, <laughs> uh, and fielding interviews. Fielding okay. job interviews, I've had a couple interviews, and just kind of letting the process play, play itself out. Yeah. Um, What's your style, Eric? Tell, tell the audience what your style, what kind of coaching style do you bring to the table? Maybe somebody around here listening to the show is like, you know what, I can use a guy like that. I'm a very, like, detail-oriented guy. Yeah. Um, my coaching philosophy is next man up. You know, every interview I get in and sit down in, that's usually one of the first questions. Tell yep. me your coaching philosophy. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I, I say, you know, we could talk forever about that, but it comes down to next man up. Yeah. Having... You know, as a position coach, you know, I need to make sure that I have all of my guys ready to go. I come from a background of uh, starting out at small high schools with limited numbers of guys yep. and understanding the drop off between ones and twos, twos and threes can be significant. Yep. 
So the best thing we can do as coaches is have every guy prepared to yep. know what he needs to do when he's on the football field. Yeah. Because that's the easiest way to get hurt. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I think overall, I'm not just talking football, but but overall, you got to make everybody on your team feel valuable. And you may never see the field on game day, right? Right. But you're very important to this team. We need you during the week. We need you here in the weight room, in the practice field, being a good person, being a good attitude, helping our guys get ready. You, you have to get that across. I don't care if we're talking IT, what you're doing, football, what have you. I think that's got to be the message. Well, right? especially on Sundays, pardon me, but especially on Sundays, right, yep. when you're talking with the pros, you need these guys to come in and be self-starters, to be self-motivated, but you enhance that. You supercharge yep. it when they know that you're looking out for them, that you, their best interest, whether it's health, whether it's the position they're playing, yep. the coaching that they're getting, when you put their interests yep. first, then they'll take their interests and run with it. That's yep. just human nature. Yep. Yep. So, you're, so you're looking for a coaching job? Yes, sir. So similar to what I you know, do with IT staffing, I, I, I can help people. Uh, just a quick story. So I'm in Jacksonville. Um, I'm from Kentucky. Um, I got, what I do is I, I make phone calls and try to put people to work. Dusty Bonner was a, a friend of mine from Kentucky, quarterback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, I remember. Right. Yeah, State, of course. Yeah. Hill, two-time winner. Yep. So he's playing arena football in uh, Lexington, Kentucky, and I had front row tickets. And long story short, um, he goes, hey, you know, I want to get back in the NFL because he tried out for Atlanta Falcons, you know, made yeah. it to the practice squad. Yeah. I, which didn't know a lot about football, but I had confidence when it came to the, to the phone calls, called up the Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback coach. And I go, hey, listen, I got someone for the for a camp. Yeah. And this was back in Dusty Bonner. Dusty Bonner, I said, you know, he, he tried out for Atlanta Falcons. You know, he's doing yeah. arena football, to, took it to the UIFL. He goes, well, isn't Dusty like a, um, uh, a, a drop back quarterback? And of course, yeah. I didn't know what that means. Yeah. Uh, I went, yeah, yeah. I went, well, yeah, he's 50 50. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I just remember, right. he's 50 50. He goes, Maybe 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, you got a network and you guys taking the time to be on this show man i appreciate it because that's what this show you're going to meet people you're going to network people you're going to make relationships make connections and get to tell your story so thanks how you feeling about the jags going into 2024 you, my jag fan you know i have i have confidence okay uh, there, there are certain questions you know josh allen yeah big question i love yeah. listening to the radio i mean all, all they do is talk about the contract negotiations now yeah. uh They'll get that done. They'll that's done. that's yeah, so that's, obvious. Yeah. I mean, you just can't let I mean, that I, go. I, I see teams, oh, should the Bills, you know, mix Josh Allen and Josh Allen? Yeah. Josh Allen's not going anywhere. He's That's our right. Josh Allen. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's staying anywhere. here no matter what. Right. Well, great to have you all on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, check out their great profiles, this conversation, and hundreds and hundreds of others. Just go to dailynewsnetwork.com. Until next time, y'all stay safe out there and be cool. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or am I going to have to keep up with all this information. Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.